Good afternoon, everybody. I have a new surprise. It is not the normal, traditional um, work commands restoration content here. This is a hint. I bought another truck. I bought a very, very, very reasonable priced. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is the this is a V10. A little bit of rust here and there. I don't know what this stuff is, so I'm gonna find out what it is and probably get rid of it real quick. Um, but nice big radiator. AC works. We got a bit of a power steering line. And they jumped it when we pulled up, and he jumped it. Uh, we had to jump it when we got here. So um, the battery is a little bit low. So we got a little bit of a draw somewhere. Um, oil's good. Well, actually needs change. Kind of smells like a little bit of gas. But the problem is, I noticed it instantly. He said that it needs exhaust manifold gaskets. Well, it needs a little bit more than gaskets because right there there's supposed to be a bolt like that one has and then right back there that one's supposed to have a bolt too and it doesn't but we got fairly new shocks on here it is a f-350 lariat and i cannot reveal the price of this fine ride because nobody would believe me I did actually pay cash money for it. So, nice plastic wood grain. Very, 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 very clean inside of here. Well, I mean, not very, very, very. Well, I don't, what did I say? Three varies? Maybe we'll just say one very, because, you know, we got a little bit of dirt there. Um, Seats a little bit turned up over there, but this seat's in decent shape. We're thinking about just getting one cover for that side. It is a six-speed with a manual standard uh, manual four-wheel drive shift lever. Four-wheel drive does work because we used it to pull the pull it up on the trailer. It does have a little bit of rust here and there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the inside of these doors here. I'm just going to sand them down, put some good uh, rust treatment on them. They're not, well, I guess they are through. Maybe we'll make a quick, quick little fix on that there, I think. But they're through there. I'm going to probably go ahead and fix that because it's only that little area. Okay, but I mean, with a quick vacuum, the inside, you know, vacuum and wipe down. She's showroom, guys. Um, that will probably just clean up and paint. I got to remember to look through the camera and not look through what I'm doing. So she's very, very decent shape, though, guys, for the money I paid. Um, that's kind of weird. Don't know what what that is it's kind of weird but I am gonna go through this is gonna be a real there's gonna be some real paint work done on here it's not just gonna be no rattle can stuff I do plan on taking like all this stuff here I do plan on taking all this out and and even just painting just just the door jams right here you know I can tape it off right there nobody even know but just to clean it up and try to get the most amount of miles we can out of it. Um, this is going to be a daily driver for a little while till my blazer gets, uh, till the black budget bill blazer gets back together. That's super simple there to fix. We're going to go through and paint all the, we're going to fix all the rocker panel stuff. But this is where the main problem is here in the bed. Um, this is a, we got a flapper here. Because this rusted through right over here. So there must have been some body damage at one time. And somebody didn't um, take care of it right away. 
but we're going to go ahead and get that fixed up and welded. Then they make a patch that goes literally right there. It's $84 for both sides, I think. Um, and then we can straighten out that dent right there. We can just beat that right from the back. The box is probably coming off because these, uh, these cross beams right here, and they actually sell them as a as a rust repair but once those are in the rest of the box is actually in pretty decent shape so um it's got really decent tires which this does have a posi rear end you know i don't know how a guy would know like that but i know that this is a posi rear end so um yep then uh, we got a little bit of bumper damage there. I'm gonna try to, you know, at the end of the day, guys, it's a truck. It's not a a a. Uh, it's not a uh, showroom piece of equipment. What I believe this truck's gonna be used for um, by the next owner is probably gonna be a good plow truck. It's a standard. It's uh, it's four wheel drive. Um, I think it's going to be a plow truck, but it's got a good bed liner in it. I think that's a trampoline. So we'll go ahead and pull all this stuff out eventually. Um, tailgate works. I mean, it's the whole truck is, is very solid. Except for, you know, a few spots on the bed. Yeah. Ugh. Heavy tailgate. But... We'll go ahead and clean this up. Well, oh wow. A little less solid than I thought that was. But we can go ahead and make a nice, heck, maybe even just put a piece of angle iron or something on there on the inside, weld it from the back. We can do something pretty neat with that. But this bumper I was thinking about, you know, it is a little twisted. It's amazing what a few minutes with a come along and a tree will do for a little feller like this. So we'll end up trying to pull it out, try to hammer that dent out a little bit, just try to get it straight. You know, if it's straight on there, it doesn't need to be cherry perfect condition. We will go ahead and pull that big monster dent though. I'll show you guys how we plan on doing something like that. And you can get to it right from the back right there. So... Um, you could probably just shove a nice, whoosh, like that, whoosh, in there, but you don't want it to be too, well, it looks like somebody tried to do that already, but we'll pull the tail light out, we'll try to, we'll get that pulled out, we'll paint this, then we can paint the bottom part of the tailgate. This side of the bed is a little worse than the other side, kinda. It's not broken here, but it does... I mean, that dent we can pull out, this panel fixes it, but the only other thing I'm worried about is the front. That panel doesn't cover this front part. It does have nice matching wheels, and them are four nice matching Cooper Discovery tires. Um, them wheels we can polish up real nice, full floater rear end. I mean, it's, it's definitely, it is F-350, this thing is a freaking monster. And it drives real nice down the road. So this is pretty nice to be able to <laughs> see all the bed bed stuff right here. But um, I'll go through pretty much just scale all that down. Paint over it with some poor 15 or something. But she's got some heavy duty springs. He's she's done it. He's doing it. He's doing the dance in the water. The duck? You should yeah. I think that's the same one that did it before, sorry. <laughs> Look at that big, mean Rottweiler right there. Look at that mean, vicious Rottweiler, huh? Big, mean, vicious Rottweiler. Well, she is if you if you come in here and she don't know you. She's big, mean, vicious. She leans against the wall of the... She lays against with her back against the wall so the chickens peck at her. She likes it. And there's the duck. Playing like a crazy. Okay, we'll continue on. 
I don't know anything fancy on the on the bed in the back and on this in the back. Let's see here. Um don't really know what all that is, jack and stuff, but this back seat is freaking awesome right here. It's nice. Nice condition. And the leg room and stuff in this guy. Nice, nice. The only thing is, you know, we got we'll go through and clean it up. I think with a rag and a vacuum, interior will be will be showroom. You know what I think we might do too while we got the paint out is I might paint those. Where's your key for this? What? It's right there. Here's the other one. Oh. Oh, we've got two keys then. I didn't two know key that. fobs. The other one just needs batteries. I didn't see that Check key out. in there earlier. I, I'm still amazed. I mean, if I told you guys what I paid for this, you would not believe me. Um, so, they make these seat covers... Not, not a seat cover, a real new recover. You pull all this off and you put a new one on. And since this is, isn't all ripped up and stuff, they're like 180 bucks. So we're going to go through and see what the rest of the, uh, what the rest of the build is going to cost us to get it done. But I love that manual four wheel drive right there. And it is a six speed and it is awesome driving. So, uh, let's see here, 11 minutes. All right, I will hurry up and get this uh, video done here. Let's see here, we're gonna have to, oh, that one shuts off. We're trying to figure out where the draw is on the battery. That, that light goes out, but um, I don't know. Could just be a bad battery. It was a stick decal on here, but you know, not really sure how it's going to go about getting, getting fixed. I got to check that bedside. I got to see what that's going to take. It does suck that the front half's ruined, but you know, we got a couple options here. I do have a flat bed right up there, a short bed, flat bed that I could put on here if I wanted. Um, that might work out pretty good since this is a work truck. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull these off and and remount them, especially this side. It's it's soft and squishy. But we got holes on. This is the worst part of this side. I can patch that um, manual pull-out mirrors, which were spoiled because of Sriracha, because that truck is power. Power pushed in and out, but... She's, uh, you know, front bumper's good. Basically, I bought this for the price of the tires. A little bit of hail damage on the hood I didn't see before. But um, it is a truck at the end of the day, guys. We're going to buff out the headlights, clean them up. You know, she ain't going to be our pride and joy or nothing. We've got a little bit of work there, but I do plan on repairing all the rust. And um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that all on the channel right here. It doesn't mean, you know, look at, so like, whoosh, wow, look at that truck, huh? Wow, wait a minute, there we go. Okay, see, look, look, wow, yeah? Okay, tell me what you guys think of the new build here, 2002 F350, um, V10, Triton V10, um, standard six-speed, pretty decent shape except that bed and the exhaust manifolds that has broken off bolts in the heads. So, because I can see them from here, I think, uh, I don't know what the bottom ones look like, um, probably going to buy brand new manifolds. Or um, I'll see what headers cost to see. I don't know. The reason why the bolts probably break off. I don't know. Are they aluminum heads? They might be aluminum heads is why 
the uh, they break off so okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna upload this video tell me what you guys think thumbs up thumbs down what do you think do the right thing